Shania, Shania. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Shania. I'm here today with a DIY tutorial, but this time I'm doing a collab with Claire Sophia, and you guys should check out her channel. All of her information will be down below in the description box, so don't forget to check it out. All right. Something I wanted to tell you guys before we get into the tutorial was that in my tutorial I used a pink zipper and the reason why I used the pink zipper is because I wanted you guys to see what it was that I was doing. I definitely recommend that you use a zipper that's the same color as the fabric of your sweater. Unless, you know, if you're going for a particular look where you want to have that contrast kind of scheme, definitely go for it. I have 7,000, almost 7,000 subscribers now, and I am really, really trying to get 10,000. I'm just lining it up, starting from the bottom, I'm lining it up and I'm just going to um, make a note of where my slit starts, which is right here and I'm just going to transfer that over to my zipper and this line here is going to be where I want my zipper to stop so I'm just going to sew right here. Okay, when you're done it should look something like this on the front and the back, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut about a half inch above that mark. We do want to have some leftover. Put your zipper down um, and make sure that the bottom of the zipper lines up with the bottom of the sweater. And then um, you just want to line it up. Now again, it's okay if this mark um, leaves extra space. We want that. Now what you're going to do is your zipper is on the right side and the tail of your zipper is at the bottom of your sweater. You want to open your zipper. So when you open it, you still want to make sure the right of the zipper is on the right of the sweater and the left of the zipper is on the left of the sweater. And again, your zipper is facing up, right side up. Flip one side of the zipper over so that the right side of the zipper is facing the right side of the sweater. And then you want to start pinning down your zipper about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. You do not want your zipper um, edge to meet the edge of the sweater. You don't want that. You want to leave like a little hem allowance like so. And then you want to pin it down. And you're just going to pin it all the way down until you get to the top. Now when you get to the top, it's going to seem a little awkward, like it's twisted, and if it seems like it's twisted, it means you did it right. If you have a zipper foot, and make sure that um, the left groove is over the left um, zipper, and vice versa, that the right groove is over the right zipper. And some people like to just go ahead and open up the teeth a bit, so that they can get underneath the teeth. And if you're using a regular foot, you want to make sure that your needle is as close as possible to the teeth. Now in my case, I'm going to go ahead and use the invisible foot. And if you can see, the this groove goes right over the zipper. Again, take your zipper and fold it over so that the right side of the zipper is facing the right side of the sweater. Pin it down and sew it. And you know you're doing it right when you see the teeth are towards the seam, um, or towards the right seam. And the teeth on the left side are towards the left seam. Pin the zipper down and sew it. Take the tail and you want to bring it down and then you want to bring it up, okay? And essentially when you do that, you should have the right side underneath your split. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just close up the top. Z. 
zigzag stitch over this. After that, take an iron, run it over where your zipper meets your sweater. And it should look like this. This white stitch here was my original um, stitches and what happened was you could still see the pink from the zipper on the right side of the sweater. So what I did was I went back over the stitch and this time what I did was I lifted up the teeth as I was sewing so that I could sew underneath um, the zipper teeth, the new stitch in the black. So I definitely recommend that you do that if your zipper is still showing. But don't sew too close because you won't be able to zip your um, zipper up and down. So just close enough that it's underneath the teeth but not on the teeth. So now you can see it's truly an invisible zipper.